Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I thought I'd share my recipe for beef barbacoa, which I make in the crock pot. It's a really easy recipe that you can get going first thing in the morning and then enjoy it later for dinner. And the meat is so tender and juicy, it practically melts in your mouth. First, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get cooking. Traditional barbacoa is made with goat meat or lamb meat and it's slow cooked underground. So if you wanna get technical, what I'm making today is not true barbacoa, but neither is pretty much a lot of what we see here in the States. And that's because it's been adapted so much through the years. What's most common is to use beef cheeks or cachetes de res in Spanish. And uh, you can cook it on the stove top, in the oven, in a slow cooker. Now, what I'm working with is about three and a half pounds of beef cheeks. And the only other ingredients that you'll need is half an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic. I'll be using about three chipotle peppers. It comes in a can like this in adobo sauce. I've got some kosher salt to taste, a couple of bay leaves, and then I'll need about a fourth of a cup of lime juice or orange juice. You can also use water, just work with what you have. The reason I use limes is because I have a lime tree, so I have an endless supply and I don't want it to go to waste. And a little fun fact for you, because I'm sure you notice that these are yellow, um, limes actually, when you allow them to ripen on the tree, they turn yellow. So these are actually better than when they're green. So thought I'd just share that with you. Anyway, this is all we're going to need, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to rinse this meat really well, pat it dry with paper towels, and then cut it into smaller chunks, more or less around this size. And I don't cut off any of the fat because that's going to render while cooking and make this meat extra tender. And besides, you can get rid of the fat later after it's been cooked. When you've got all your pieces, season them on all sides with plenty of salt and then quickly sear them in a skillet with a little oil just to where the outside is brown. This is going to help lock in the juices as well as give it a little more flavor. I'll then place them into the crock pot that's been set to high. Then I'll coarsely chop the onion and put it into the blender, along with the two garlic cloves and three chipotle peppers. For me, three is a magic number when it comes to chipotle peppers. It gives it just the right kick without being too spicy. If you'd like more heat, you can always add more later, but you can never take it away once it's cooked into the food. Believe me, I've learned the hard way. So I'm always very careful and three is perfect for this recipe. Now I'll squeeze the juice from these limes. Again, I want about one fourth of a cup. You don't need a whole lot of liquid, just enough to get the other ingredients blended. This looks good, so I'll pour it into the blender and get it pureed. When it looks like this, just take that mixture and pour it directly over the meat chunks in the crock pot. Finally, add the two bay leaves, cover and let it cook for five to seven hours. After about five hours, the whole house smells amazing and you're left with a barbacoa that just falls apart when you touch it. Take a look at this. I, mean, I barely even have to touch it. I'm just gonna take off the bay leaves and then I'm gonna transfer this to this dish. And then if you're one of those people who likes it a little crispy on the edges, you can put this in the oven, uh, in the broiler for just a few minutes. But um, I like it just like this. Just have to be a little careful transferring it because it falls apart. Oh 
Oh my goodness, take a look at this. This barbacoa is so tender and juicy. And the taste. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. I've already got my corn tortillas here and I'm gonna make some awesome tacos, but you can do anything with this meat. You can make some tortas with it. Really, you can't go wrong with this. I think you're really going to love it. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.